Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221 training. I'm your host Leandro Mada, and in this video we're going to talk about the conditional elements that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So basically in the Ecotraction Machine Expert basic, what we have is a few elements related to conditions. So if we take a look here, we can see that we have these three elements in our software they are related to conditions so if we compare for example using the eco trash machine expert for the emodicon 241 and 262 and 251 we can see on the structure test that we use if else if and if if else um to create some conditions and execute logic so in the Modicon M21, we have only ladder and grab set and instruction list. So the idea is to use that kind of logic that we have in if uh, in these conditionals and trying to use that in ladder. So this is one way to do it. So um, we have the block if that is always along with a the then. We have the function or the element else. Okay, and then in order to finish this, we have the element and if. Okay, when you add one of these elements in our code, okay, it belongs to a group. Okay, and it cannot be modified online. So let's continue with this. In order to add these uh, function blocks in our code, okay, we just need to go here into other other elements and select in conditionals if else or and if click on the one that you want and add it in your code then this is basically the idea of how it operates okay so once we add each element in our code for example here you can take a look we have a if next to a number that is the number of the group for the condition that we're going to have in our code okay so this is just a rough idea how you can work on this so you have the if once you add if it will be linked automatically okay this if with that then so in the middle we have our condition to execute if the condition is true then we can execute the code below if the condition is not true okay we just go to the else okay so here we can add another condition okay and then execute our logic okay so as this is optional then if the condition over here is not the one that we want then it's going to execute this part without executing this this is not executed okay and then as a rule over here we just need to end the if with the end if so this is basically how it works it's very simple we just need to define our condition okay and the thing that we want to execute in that condition so this is the an idea how you can migrate from the structured test to the ladder code okay so this is the software for machine expert it's not the basic okay so let's try to use this in our code so if we open one application okay just apply the ramming there we go condition if we have the block automatically we have the then here we need to add our condition our condition would be this so if the percentage end of you 10 2 is higher equal than i don't know 120 okay then we can execute a code that's going to be here below okay so in that case if it's still lower than that, uh, da, 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 da. no, it's lower. 
no and then the chest if it's equal then i'm going to reset the value okay i forget that we need to follow this part so if it's equal this is bigger than 120 then we reset the value if not we just need to counter one this is over here i was going to do the other way around so let's continue now now we need to add the other condition or what happened if this is not true okay you can see over here that i have this because it's missing the end it's not mandatory to use the elves if but i'm going to use it anyway okay else and here what i'm going to do is to add this percentage nw2 just counting this okay or you have another sequence or something else okay you can see over here are they also missing the end over there here let me just add uh and if and there we go so now it's working fine so let's try to simulate this to see some behaviors okay and play so you can see it's counting over here and one important thing here that we need to check is that on the elements that we have the if okay it doesn't allow me to make change online as you can see over here i cannot change i cannot change the logic here i can make some modifications in the logic and add, add more logic but inside the if or else or the, and if i cannot do anything so we need to be careful if we try and if we're planning to change these conditions on online probably we need to disconnect change it and then download it again that is one of the things that we can do so if we continue with this if we want to in the past if we want to do this okay we just need to make a comparison let me just find you this project it was another one okay so in the past what you can do is to make the comparison and then use the coil to see the comparison then execute that in order to execute your code so this is another way to do the same okay without using the elements if but if you use the elements if it's much easier for you to follow the code okay because it's more natural to see okay we have if something in the middle which is the condition then i can execute something else okay so that would be much easy uh to identify how to continue with the reading of the code and also analyze your code so I believe this is it for the if okay you can also add if another if below inside but you will need to be careful in adding the groups so if we have a uh, initial if you must end with the um, and if and you can add another end and another if in the middle okay just to add more condition in size okay so this is it for it for the conditional elements inside the modicon into one thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one